People ask me, why do you have two different chambers in a mouthwash? Why is it superior? What is going on? So I am going to give you the entire detail about how and why this was invented. So number one, we have two different chambers. So these do not mix. When you pour them, both the liquids come together almost in an equal ratio and they mix together. What is the difference? Have you ever tried a soda can that is pre-mixed? When you open it and keep it in a glass, the fizz goes away. That is what is a mouthwash, the whitening mouthwash when you buy, which is pre-mixed. Versus when you mix it, it's like drinking a soda that has got the fizz. So when these two things mix together, the two sides, one side of this has hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is acidic in nature. It goes and actually whitens your teeth. It's known for whitening your teeth. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. It is the same exact molecule that is being used in a dental chair when you go to a dentist to get the whitening done. That hydrogen peroxide is diluted form is in there in this side. Now, this side, we have put xylitol, 10% xylitol. So xylitol is a type of sugar alcohol that bacteria love to feed on, especially the bad bacteria like streptococcus mutants. They can not digest it, so they end up dying. Secondly, it also has essential oils, the seven different essential oils like peppermint oil, spearmint oil, cardamom oil, and fennel oil. All these four enhance your breath, make your breath really fresh. Fennel oil alongside xylitol, both of them stimulate your salivary glands, ends up you having more saliva. Your saliva is carrying all those magnesium, calcium, potassium, sodium, all those amazing minerals that will fortify your enamel. Your enamel builder is your own saliva, better than anything else in the world. We also have vitamin D3, good for bones, K2, which ensures that the calcium doesn't stick to the enamel. It actually goes where it belongs, to the bones. We also have vitamin E inside, which ensures that the mucosa, the skin inside the mouth, remains healthy. We also add baking soda. Baking soda is an amazing alkaline ingredient. So when the hydrogen peroxide on this side meets baking soda on this side, acid meets base, they pH balance each other. So you get the pH balance so that the hydrogen peroxide cannot cause the sensitivity that it would cause if it was used all by itself. So that is the reason we have it in two different variations. Mix it. It's like a science experiment. It, the bubbles get formed, they take off all the stains, and you are whitened teeth with almost no sensitivity. This is the magic of this dual chamber mouthwash. Why do I have the green color bottle? Now, let, let me tell you, we don't do what most companies do. What they do is they change the flavor, they change the color, and boom, you get a new mouthwash, not us. What we do is you just change the color on the bottle. We trick you. Why do we do that? Because I believe color is just for your visual help, nothing else. Color has no use in a mouthwash. Any color that is synthetically derived is going to harm you in some way or the other. I do not believe in it. I would not use it. Hence, I would not put it in the mouthwash so that you don't get harmed. So all our mouthwashes are colorless. The color is only in the bottle so that you can differentiate it. I will make a separate video on the green one next time. In the meanwhile, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do, please share, and please like. It gives me a lot of motivation. I'm looking forward to growing your channel, and I can only do it with your help. Thank you. Namaste.